How do you know what type of engineer you ultimately want to be? Well, in this week's Engineering Manager 8020 Shorts, I have two engineers with you from THP Limited, Anthony Metti and Jay Chamberlain, and they're going to tell us when they had that aha moment that helped to direct them in the type of engineering that they're really passionate about, how they found that out. Go ahead, Jay, you first. I, you know, mine actually, uh, I'd say mine occurred during college, uh, during my first series of co-ops. I, uh, I was working for a construction company and I just so happened to uh, be working on two parking garages that were designed by THP. And I always had it in my head that, hey, I was going to go construction. And after, after working, building these two garages, I kind of had this aha moment that, no, I don't, I don't want to build them. I want to design them. I'm much more fascinated with the design. Ever since then, I've been, that's what I've been doing. And I've loved it ever since. That was it. That's pretty cool. That just goes to show you, you know, these co-op programs, these internship programs, they can really kind of set you up for your career and help you to identify, you know, what you're passionate about or what you might want to do. And so, you know, definitely something to think about depending on where you're at in your career. Tony, how about you? When you look back on your career, what kind of, what's a career moment that really stands out for you? I think when I came out of school, I always wanted to do structural engineering. I thought I'd be behind a desk, building models, running numbers, calculations and that. But I think I had opportunities coming out of college. Um, Our restoration group was working on Dodger Stadium, doing restoration outfield pavilion and expansion joint replacements and other issues out there that I got to be involved with and kind of the restoration aspect and doing kind of the owner has a problem we want you to solve and you're kind of working with them and kind of working through the different scenarios of how to help them and interfacing with them. So I think I enjoy the restoration kind of building envelope because I'm more intimate. Solving an owner's problem, I'm dealing directly with them as much as sitting behind the desk and doing the restoration. So, or sitting behind the desk and doing the engineering just running numbers all day. I've kind of veered off and I want to be kind of interfacing with the client and helping them solve their problems is kind of why I've went into restoration more. So that experience kind of helped you to understand that you want to like interface with people and help them with their problems as opposed to just being in the design side of it. You wanted that people interaction. More people interaction. I thought was good. Yes. That's great. So there you have it. A couple of interesting kind of thoughts around your career in terms of, you know, these, like I said, any opportunity that you have, whether it's a project you're working on, a co-op, an internship, you never know what you're going to learn about yourself, about your interests through doing that. And, you know, Tony gave also gave an example of that through one of his experiences where he learned about his interest in people interaction and he's been kind of taking it and running with it and they're both kind of doing what what they talked about there. So, Thanks to both Tony and Jay. Again, we recorded a full episode of the Civil Engineering Podcast with both of them where we talk about park smart parking garages and we also get into other some other career advice and thoughts and that'll be available soon uh, at civilengineeringpodcast.com and we will link to that. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Anthony. Of course. Thanks, Anthony.